What's up, guys? Pittsburgh Weishwartz back again. Uh, we're doing Fujimi uh, today, the set that no one thought would come to English. I'm saying that again because I know by the statistics that not everybody checks the TD video. Uh, um, so joining me this time, uh, I'm Carmen, is Brian, Zach, and Drew, and our special guest, Beanley, all the way from Florida. Hi. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to run through yellow today. Um, I know there's some interesting cards in here. I know like yellow and red are like the big colors in the set for the most part. The yellow, red, and blue, right, are like the, the bigger colors that show up in the eight standby builds that this set is known for. So uh should be some interesting stuff to see. Uh, Beanley, start us off with this ninja girl. We have a zero zero Oda. Uh, during your turn, it gets 1k power, so she's 2500 power. And then on play, uh, you can pay three to stock swap your opponent. So, what do we think about stock swap on bodies like this? Oh, Zach, I'm getting a bit of feedback from you. Uh, Sorry. Breathing feedback. Okay, yeah, just letting you know. It's, it's, a, it's searchable, it's on a character, which makes it more accessible at the very least. And if you didn't see the TD video, uh, there's a drop search in the TD, it's the only drop search in the set. Uh, Bean League gave us the heads up about that, so you can just, like, grab it. Stock Swap is one of those effects that will just win you the game, so I don't think you care how much you pay for it, right? No. Like, if it wins you the game, do you really care that it costs three? No, not I mean, unless for some reason, yeah, not unless the set has trouble building stock for some reason. Um, Even then, that's how much it normally costs anyway. I've seen it on level threes that the actual effect of stop swapping is is one, but it's a three two character anyway. So this isn't right, any, I mean, anything out of the ordinary. You do get a two soul body for that, but the, yeah, the Milam yeah. and slime is this exact same profile, correct? Mm -hmm. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. Um, but, but yeah, but it's it's pay three stock swap, which is what's important here. And it's button stock swap. It's not like seizure, so. So it's a good effect on a somewhat less good body than usual. Uh, it's just why, can't, why, can't we use at, why can't we use effects at instant speed? Stock swap. Yeah, why not? Why right? can't we do that? That'd be awesome. All right, yeah, stock swap's important. I've already uh, made my argument for this card out of video, so I'm not doing it again. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's helpful. Um, I don't know, dude. Stock swap's really important for sets to have these days. Like, it's a double rare. Why is it double rare? That is... Stock swap is sick. I'm gonna give it a B plus, dude. Stock swap's way too important. Um, Just the, my the only fact that the set has access to it is relevant. Yeah. Yeah. You're running I mean... the eight standby build too. Like besides the restander, you really don't have like any sort of finisher. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it just helps you push for a game with your two soul beaters. Like my only argument for it was that imagine imagine decompressing somebody out of first deck. Like, they did all that work to put their climaxes in. They got two cards left, and you stock swap them. They have to refresh, do all that. Oh, yeah, and, it and... is a level zero. That is true. You, you always have access to this. I get it's, yes. it, it. It's very costed, but, I mean, like, you think about, like, people People are realizing how dumb level one stock swap is with the fate, the level one one fate yeah. stock swap. Like, for punishing Konosuba before they go into their next deck, that's pretty good. Yep. Well, like uh, Beanley just said, if you're running eight standby, your your climax uh, or uh, paying the three would be as great, especially for your first deck because your standbys are in your stock. Yeah, probably. It's a good. St I get to stock out early, mm. and it disrupts your opponent. So yeah, stock swap's really good. If, if we just sit in here and talk about how dumb stock swap is, we'll be here all day. So it's pretty Again, stupid. Moving on. It is pretty stupid. I think right, it's necessary, talk. dude. All right, that, never mind. That's a discussion for another video. <laughs> <laughs> we, we could make a whole stock swap video. Yeah. All right, let's talk about this level three. Uh, Haruna, Sundere Magicool Girl. Uh, when this card comes into play, you can ditch a card if you do heal from clock to stock. When this card attacks, if the wind is in your climax zone, you may pay three if you do burn four. Wow. P3 this is burn like four. This is like Meh. fucking seen on, except worse. It pays yeah. for one. Four guys. It, pays, it, it plays for one, and then you have to pay three. <laughs> so it's Already. the same. It's the same as seen on. You have to wait. No, it's the same, <laughs> it's, dude. It's pay for ditch one overall. Yeah. yeah, it's pay for ditch one. The same as seen on. This is the same card, except it's the on. The best win. part about this. The best part about this card is the pillow. Yeah, the bear. The bear. The angry bear pillow. Yeah. 
Okay. He's, not, he's not angry. He's just saying know. hi. What, what do we really think about last shot seen on? Is la like? I think it's fine. I mean, the fact that for. I think the Harley. The I think the Harley Quinn like from like. Batman Ninja is better. Honestly, I think it's the best this? profile for this. Yes. But you need, the Joker, you need the Joker on the board. Yeah, you need a. Joker. Yeah, but he's an early play, and you have access Looking to. Looking cool, like, Joker. Yeah. <laughs> okay, pudding. Hey, <laughs> pudding. All right, I just like, I don't know. And then, and then I'm pretty sure Harley Quinn is pay two, pitch one, burn four. It, it is very funny that the entire package is, uh, literally the same as last shot seen on. Um, but <laughs> I guess if you play it and don't do it, it plays for one, which is fine. It's like a play for one healer, in yellow. Is that mm -hmm. relevant enough? It's a yellow pay for one healer. Maybe, depending on what the rest of the set has. Yeah, I mean, it is... It's not like it's an early play or anything, though. Yeah, yeah that's the issue. No, you're healing a little too late. Eh. No, I Although, think it's fine. Well, it does drop a two-soul two body that lets you... like if you only one, have yeah. It's just a... Yeah, if you have three stock, you can play this and another level three. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to give it a straight B. The The finisher part of it is, over, is like, over-costed, quote-unquote. But the fact I that it, you, can, you can play it for one... I think that makes it okay. That makes it fine. It makes it, it makes it better, sure. Yeah, be, be for Bear Pella. I just feel like there's oh, bound to be something better. Yeah, definitely. Bear. Bear. B period E A R. B ear. Yeah. B ear. All right. Bear. Okay. That's English, fellas. Moving on. Uh, Brian, what character did you say this is? This is uh, uh, you. You. Euclid Wood, I believe it is. Okay, what I, I'm already disinterested. Um, <laughs> when the battle, when the battle, of your other character becomes reversed, choose one of your characters. That character gets a thousand power for the turn. Hmm. Okay, oh. and it is a self tap. It's a summoner brainstorm. It's it's uh, troublemaker Aqua. Without the hand on core, it's bad. Without, yeah. Aqua. Well, no, this this no, other no, effect this is... is pretty troll, dude. It just gives rolling 1k. I, I no, guess. That's pretty your awesome. whole board. I mean, that's pretty interesting. And, and it works on your opponent's turn. So, okay, think about it with a backup, right? You back up in one lane, you get the reverse, and then you yep. can give the 1,000 power to another lane. Oh, it's when the it's when your opponent's character becomes reversed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It has good synergy with winning board. Play this with a trial deck climax combo. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Guarantee those we're... reverses plus two. Yeah. No doubt. Uh, it I, does. I like it. The fact that the new. other brainstorm just has general anti synergy with the standby strategy makes it kind of unfortunate, though. Yeah. This be, would be a really cool. It's like an. It's like the opposite of a revenge killer effect. It's like the opposite of Betty, right? In Rezero. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's what, exactly what I was thinking. That's really cool and really interesting. But the brainstorm effect is completely useless. Yeah, for a um for a standby deck that's running caustic characters, it has a really cool second effect. But I don't know if the actual brainstorm effect is. Like, I think cool you just that. I think you just use this card or card to roll through level one, maybe two, and then let the standby do the rest. I would so almost rather I mean, it be like a not, clock brainstorm. Maybe this is good in the non standby builds. Maybe we're we thinking about standby, man. Maybe there's something else in this set. Maybe maybe no. Ooh, no. maybe nope. Any any set that has eight standby must be run eight standby. Or, I don't know. No, no. Exactly. I mean, no game, no life is a fine example of that. We love what? eight standby. No game, no life. No, we hate that deck. Um. Anyway, word, word chain. We love word chain. I hate word chain so much. Uh. Shout out to Andy plus? keeping no game, no life alive. I, I'll give it a B plus. It's a better than I, average. I don't think it's that good. Really? I like it. Yeah. I, like I, it. I don't. I don't think it's great. It just, it just you'd have to somehow just... win board with costless characters, right? Yeah. Like there has to be a costless setup. Which is what your level one combat combos usually do. Like you let's say the... you don't draw into it, but you have the climax, so you play this card, brainstorm into it. Okay, hear me out. You play the one of sixty-five from the trial deck that gets five hundred for all your other characters. The Rios. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 now you win board. It's big. All right. Okay. Your opponent I, can't hit over it. They they this flounder. Is, this is really they cool though. Themselves. 
I, I wish this would have been on a more relevant brainstorm effect. Yeah, so so would I. Because they yeah, obviously but... value it a lot, right? It's 500 power <laughs> attacker. Yeah, definitely. So, um, you know. Oh, well. All right. All right, so uh... tell us about this, this girl with the paper slip. All right, so this girl with the paper slip, she has, during her turn, a global 500. Uh, when you play a Climax, you can clock yourself one. If you do, look it up to four cards from the top of your library. Search for up to one devil one or higher card. Reveal, put in your hand, risk of the waiting room. All right, you are all looking at the reason why this eight standby monstrosity is so popular. <laughs> this is a big part of it, this card. Um, so if you think about it, you clock yourself. What do you do when you clock yourself as a cost? You might level up. This yeah. is how people right. meme with the two two eleven five on their second turn because their opponent Eagle Screech them without thinking about what they were playing against. <laughs> Eagle Screech being Trifield Slam Climax turn one. Um and then your opponent responds with, Okay, I'll play this standby. I have two of these. I like clock myself into level one. Um and I don't even have the two two in my grave yet, but I'm gonna mill eight. <laughs> put it into my grave, <laughs> then summon it with standby because they all trigger at the same time. This is like completely gross. It's it's for a standby good, deck. Yeah. It sounds pretty awesome. Uh, I just like to point out that that's a fucking bus ticket, not a paper slip. All right. It is a, a is it a bus? Is it a hall pass? I I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's, I think it's the thing play... you bring to the. It's the it's thing like for Monogatari, right? It's the it's the the seal. How they you stop Monaco, like right? Well, what she's is she tic -tac -tac doing with it? She's playing tic tac toe. Yeah, seals are meant is... to be on something. <laughs> <laughs> I I would rate it an A plus because of the interaction with standby, but I will be reserved and just give it a normal A. That that's oh that's God. ridiculousness. You got y'all are being. <laughs> that's too good, dude. That's that's eight cards of your deck gone. Here, pick well, it's, any it's, standby card well, you want. Well, it's four for each one. It's just a it's a quote. It's like a clock yourself plus. It's like really good. This is, like and I said, everything else gets one K with two of them fielded. So, oh my god, Dur during your turn. Yeah, uh, like is it during your turn? standby yeah, for the bus. This is just a lot of synergy for a standby deck. Yeah, it's like over the edge. Can also grab a three four event too. Yeah, yeah, because it's just level one or higher level card. Level one or higher card, so you, yeah. Yeah, you oh, can yeah. grab your 3-4 event, which is the choose two characters, they both get minus two soul counter. Um, That's also in yellow. And it also fixes you for yellow. Which, wow, it's so good. Um, <laughs> So good. Yeah, I don't know. We could, like, dig into this, but I think that, like, people, people who, like, are playing Weiss at a, like, quote-unquote higher level. I hate saying that. It sounds so pretentious. Um, like, w like very quickly understand how good this would be with standby. How it would work in other... competitive is the term you're looking for. Connor. Yeah, how this you would work in non-standby builds pro probably nowhere near as good. The fact that it accelerates your level and puts targets in your grave is what's important. Not even the fact that it's plussing you. Um, more so that it's putting more targets in grave and getting you to the next level. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on. Group. All right, we got to check on our homework. Uh, when this card goes from the stage to the waiting room, look at the top four cards in your library. Choose a yellow climax. Reveal it to your opponent. Add it to your hand and put the remaining cards in the waiting room. If you added a card to your hand, choose one card from your hand and discard it to the waiting room. Excuse me. Oh well, that's great because I always had climaxes off these effects. No, not when you're playing me. <laughs> so what? I guess if you're playing the, is this a zombie deck? This gets you into your level one because it's also yellow. I, I guess. Otherwise, it's just on death mill four. Is that enough? <laughs> Is that fine? Well, it's up it's, to. It's interesting, I guess, right? If you're trying to get into your level one combo, you like field so, this, it does whatever, it dies. Might get so you into your climax. The real question but, is, does this set have a yellow two soul? I don't think so. It better. Two souls in blue. Just, well, just pre blue. There Brian. might be a yellow one. Just, just pre blue. Just looks like Indian there's now. two wins, a shot. Um. Doesn't sound good, Brian. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Two wins and a shot. Well, all right. Not yeah. buying this set anymore. I quit. Wow, that's <laughs> fucked up, dude. <laughs> 
no, no yellow too, so. I honestly think this is fine. This is like an interesting profile, at least. It is. It's, it's pretty super niche, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a C plus. Like a, I think if you're playing like two yellow climaxes, you play this maybe at two. Let's see. But like. There's a guy at my locals. Like he's running uh, Fuji Mean. He's uh he's doing a standby variant, but uh he's running six standby and two of the wind from the level three that we discussed earlier. Mm. And like he just flashes this as like a. Uh, Way to get his uh quote unquote end game finisher for his standby deck. That is okay. funny, right? Because you can even play over <laughs> it. You can do it in main yeah. for this, so mm -hmm. super huh. spicy. That's really interesting. Spicy. Yeah, it's still niche though, right? Like yeah, yeah it's, it's a fine effect. Niche. All right, next. Oh my god! <laughs> Tell us about the snowman, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> I just did the last one. I, I hate... This is stupid. I don't want to do this. I just did the last one. You did? It's oh, me. okay. It's being Leo. Okay. Uh, it's a 105k. When the battle point of this becomes reverse, if the shot triggers in your climax zone, put up to one card from the top of your library in the stock. Uh, it's Union, basically. If it's a level 1 or higher, you got it to your hand. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Union it's... off shot. And that's, and that's all it does. It, and it, it only, only swings for 6k. Since yes. Five K broken. 5K. Can we just can we just I not ignore more. the fact that she's playing with a snowman and then the climax is them sitting on in a fucking <laughs> swimming pool? This is stupid. The, the like anime doesn't get to ignore the way seasons work. This is dumb. Yes, they do, dude. They do that all the just time. Sui Kawari. This is stupid. What is that watermelon something? Six K is not enough. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Is this is up. this is bad. This is uh Yeah. Well that's why you play the married life like a good player. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. it just it, 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 it sucks. I think, like, I think it's I think it's it's not amazing, but it's not Dude, Union is... sucks. Like I guess Union. you need to build you need to build a lot of stock for the Cory the zombie bleh, the zombie is this a zombie finisher, right? So Yeah, and if you want to stock swap your opponent, you need three stock. Just I feel imagine like all the stock that this can give you. This combo imagine exists That's just true, to Brian. let you play Hello? mono zombie. You guys there? Yeah, we can hear yeah. Like this combo exists just to let you play mono zombie. I it's, I mean six K is not enough. We've that's already been said, but this is uh Yes, Zach. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, it's it's fine. The, it's just, I mean, if I guess if you're running, I just don't know how you get over that. First. Like, if you if you're rolling the face roll zeros in the back row, cool. But I don't know how you get over the first one. Maybe not with, like, don't try field this. I guess I don't know. All right, let's move on. All right, someone tell me about this card. All right, this is me. This is a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, I think her name is Yuki. I don't remember. Tominori. Who cares? Uh, for, for each of your other back row characters, uh, or Fantasia Bunko, and or Ninja trait characters, this gets 2,500. Holy <sighs> shit. Sits, sits at 11.5. This is your so standby target. Seems pretty good. That's pretty dumb. I don't know. I was skeptical of the, like, I'm just going to be a little bigger and not have Encore standby targets. And then I played against Koga a couple times. It's fine. Like, this is just the biggest standby target we've ever seen. Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty dumb. Uh... I hate this card because it's just a little bit stronger than Kikoidus. That's why I hate this card. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kikoidus is fucking broken. That card's dumb. Yeah, it's, it's a good card. It's good uh, card. I wouldn't go that far. It's like a B in I the context of a, of a deck with eight standby. I mean, at, it does have... Art, it, Carmen. Yeah, I mean, it does, it does keep the two soul like persona here. So I, that's nice. I, I still think Liz is the dumbest standby target that has ever existed. Liz is pretty dumb. Because Liz has synergy with cards that have hand on core. So, um, is there... So, yeah. Is there a on standby stand something, or is it just strictly you're playing strict standby like you not for can... not for this card? It can only stand two different cards. What? Yeah, yeah that makes this a little bit worse. Nah, I mean Cause... it's still massive, dude. 
I mean, you're still waiting a turn to use it, and then I mean, at least, at least the good like the the poppin party has the climax combo where you stand a card. Because yeah, if you could stand this thing, it would make that last level one relevant. Because you could play this, swing with it, then you could kick off your back rows to give your climax combo cards the thousand power, and then then that would be enough. Because you're know. level one anyway. I just think that this is a two two eleven five that hits the board for nothing when my opponent sacks, and that's pretty scary. That's and, true. This, and this card has blood trait. It does have blood trait. Ooh. All right, let's just move on. What does on. that mean? I was going to say, um, if you go in my blood trait waifu deck with... Is this, what's uh, this character's Ar name? Ar Ar Arna? Arna, yeah. Okay, uh, this is a 4K with a, another completely fake condition, but this one is yellow. Um, yeah, Way it's better. fine. Way no. better. It's not even better. It's the same. It's it is like, better. It is they're better. They're both equally no, it's not. stupid. It's you can play backups and events with this thing, so you can play it at any level. The other one, you gotta like watch what you gotta play your events and backups yeah, before. Yeah, it's like a C plus. These four Ks are fine. I hate four Ks though. Yeah, well, good luck getting well, in the room. In English, it doesn't matter because in English, everybody plays fucking Bang Dream at regionals, and you know what Bang Dream does? Run nothing but fucking bombs, like out their ass. Like <laughs> that's all that Thomas set does. You don't get to do that. Yeah, yeah, whatever. If the top is a level one. This is, yeah. All right. And? Let's move on. What's, what's, what's your point? Zach, this is you. Oh, it's Asuna. Is this Asuna? No. <laughs> it's actually Asuna. Oda. She has way better hair than Asuna. Hmm? <laughs> this chick has way better hair than Asuna. It's the same. Oh, no, it's not. There's Kirito there in the climax, too. Yeah, oh, my God. Yeah, that is Kirito. <laughs> But there's a sword, Carmen. That is Kirito. He's, they're not wrong. Zach, just read the card. <laughs> <laughs> when this attacks, when you have the wind, and you have another Fantasia Punk or Sengoku character, put uh, middle two and choose a Fantasia Punk or Sengoku. It's level X or lower in your waiting room. Return it to hand. X is, e is the total level of cards to the waiting room this way. It still only swings, and it's six. It doesn't it's matter. On it's attack, on attack. Though. Oh, it's on attack. Okay, way better. On, on attack, Wait, cigarettes. this is two cigarettes? That's, that's fine. On, on, on an uncommon, that's fine. Yeah. Two cigarettes is fine. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a playable combo. That's cold, bro. Yeah, it's better than it's better than average. Middle of the road B. On you know attack also, cigarettes. You know, yeah. Well, what's the climax? Is it a rare? It's a common. The climax is a common. Yeah. You know what? That just enables people to at least have a climax combo if they're just trying to build this. Like newer players, like you were saying, Carmen. Like. Yeah. Getting people used to the game. This is a cheap way. Like it's an uncommon, so you're gonna pull it. And you know what I mean. In like your two or three packs, you might win. So like, that's cool. I'm cool with that. It's uncommon, yeah. So what about the married life? What we I just want married life, not Asuna. <laughs> oh uh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she said. Oh yeah, that she's a fucking bridal gown. What the? What the fuck is this light novel? No, no, no. It's she's awesome. got a samurai sword. She's got a samurai yeah, sword. Yeah. Well, what the fuck? She's a samurai girl we saw earlier. Yeah. Oh my She's god. She's like, I dare you to marry me, you, bitch. I fucking hate anime. That, <laughs> this is like novel, it's not anime. I get shut, this probably doesn't even have an anime dude, adaptation. Yeah, this this is to try and attract edgy players because she has a sword. Alright, Drew, tell me about the next card from the same place. Uh, oh, it's Asuna. That, it's Asuna. It's Asuna. Wow, is this Asuna? No, that's the chick from uh with the mask from Overlord. Oh my god. Is that Rapalia from Shield Hero? That's exactly wow. what it is. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, when uh, this card becomes reversed in battle, um, you get to send the higher level battle opponent to stock your opponent's stock, and then put the opponent's bottom card of their stock in the waiting room. Um, you can pay one and choose one of your characters with Fantasia, Fantasia, Bunko, or Sengoku, and that character gains plus one soul. Soul Synergy. Uh, I like it. It's an anti-early anti flow. With, yeah, with repeatable stock out. Seems, seems it seems yeah. good. Yeah. You could literally just pay three stock charge all three of your characters and like eat it. Yeah, better than average. That's playable. Most decks are in yellow. I yeah. actually really like that. All right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> you can tell us about this 2 1. I guess. <laughs> it's a 2 1 7500. And it, when it attacks, it gains X power. Times one thousand for each of your other uh, Fantasia Bunko and Ninja characters. Sadly, we're never going to see much of this card. 
I, this is not sadly. Thank <laughs> God we're not going to see much of this card. <laughs> just you wait till I play my uh, my ninja trait waifu deck. Carmen, this... if you play the, or I'm sorry, Brian, if you play this card, I'm flipping the table. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, I again. Thankfully, my channel is not like this. Channel is not demonetized. I've never demonetized about, any of the channel. Demonetized. Yeah, it would have it would have been demonetized. <laughs> None of the channels I've ever made on YouTube have ever monetized because of this. <laughs> like, you can't, you can't make videos about anime anymore, dude. Like, okay, ask Karen, why do you associate yourself but... with this with this community? Yeah, you're right. Um, this, this is, is unplayable. This is an unplayable card. It's a bad, bad card, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It probably is an F. Yeah, it's bad. It's S tier art, I guess, but. No, Put this on pay, Matt. I'm moving on. This is something out of Frozen or Freezing or whatever the fuck that anime was called. What? 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 Did you ever see that anime? Freezing? It was completely fan drawn. With Elsa? No. <laughs> no. There's <laughs> lots of fan art for that, that anime, dude. Frozen, my favorite What's... anime. They made a what? second one. Freezing? Frozen uh, 2 is, is it... my favorite seasonal. <laughs> just just their last season, yeah. You're a douchebag. Brian, read this Brian. fucking card. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got another U. Uh, exposing business shirt. Yeah, wow. you're right. I'm just using a theme here. They nailed it. Uh, Anti-change if there are five or fewer cards in your deck. Uh, during your turn, gets 500 power for all of your other Fantasia, Bunko, or weapon characters. And when it is played to the stage from your hand, salvage a character. On play salvage I, is the most important part of this card. It gives I, you and not, not just salvage, salvage, salvage to your entire deck. Kind of wish it no, healed, it's but from, you it's, know. It's from waiting room. Well, yeah, but if you have five or fewer in your waiting room, you have access in your waiting room. Oh, you're saying if you actually early play it. Yeah, I'd never fucking mm -hmm. early play this card. I'd just play it as a, I want access to salvage, and it's 11-5 swing. Is this a card that people play? No. Probably not. <laughs> I, I wish it healed. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Or free freshed. Yeah. Nope. You know what? Free f if it free freshed because you uh, had no, five or fewer. No, if it free freshed, it, it would be broken. Uh, yeah, this is. I don't think it's that bad, guys. It's like a, it's like a C. It, it, on play you know salvage is good. I mean, I, I guess it can trip. So I'll give it a on, on play salvage is good. Like the, all these on play, just like selective can trip, are like a lot better than people think. But yeah. like, I, I'm not telling saying it's great. Like, but. I would probably. It only never sits at eleven five. It only sits at eleven five and doesn't do what Joker does. So no. It is an uncommon. So I don't know. It's a level three for someone's shitter deck, I guess. Yeah. No game, uh, no life died so that this set could live. <laughs> all right. I, what the fuck is this? Um, this girl with the eye patch. Uh, when this play from your hand is stage, reveal top. If it's a Bunko or Sengoku character, all of your opponent's front row characters get minus one k. But the so it's Nui back. pulling thread. It's a Nui pulling thread, except with a better condition. Because Nui pulling thread, check? when it hits... What's that? No, yeah, the top check is... Well, like, Nui pulling thread says when you play it, if they only have one character, give it minus 1,500. But this card says top check. I would and like it, this a lot more. Where at, so you can just play three of these on your turn and neg your opponent's field by three. Yes, I would like it a lot more if it was just neg your opponent's field by... Uh, neg in a single opponent's attacker by three then it would be a pseudo anti-runner that'd be cool yeah but Carmen, i don't know this this might shock you but i would definitely play this as a four wow me. i don't you know what none of that surprises me at all you found you found your sync card drew there it is. guess what yeah. this deck is happening now because i have a sync card in it we're good oh my she, God. Is a, she is a pirate she's like a boat sync everything sync he's them more all. of a pirate than those summer pockets card carmen claims that have pirate traits okay don't come at kamome <laughs> like that dude. <laughs> fuck you <laughs> uh like at least he has not, an eye not patch a, not a fan of this card though fuck mm -mm. you it's an a plus for me yeah fuck, <laughs> fuck this bad card that'd be a lot better if it targeted a single card for 2500 power better with the same in condition. five months when carmen has no front row on turn two Come back. We're gonna come back here. He's gonna change this fucking scoring. He's gonna do it. You know what? Every time I say if that comes true, I will do X. I <laughs> it, always, it I always get burned. So I'm just not gonna say anything. You're still gonna eat that sock, Carmen. <laughs> yeah, for JoJo's. I know. I know. I have to eat the sock. Don't remind me.
All right. Just reminding everyone else. Who is this? Is this Zach? It's me. Yeah. All right. Uh, 2K when you play it, no two. If there's at least one climax among them, this gains two soul. When it Ooh. attacks, gives something a thousand. That's fine. Jesus. It's it's okay. It mills. It's mill on a stick. It might swing for three. I mean, how good is fi oh well? What the other one top checks right? The no game the life one. Yeah, yeah. The Sora. And this is just plus one K. Yeah, it's not not as good as Sora. It's maybe maybe okay for the mill. It can't. In a perfect world, you swing this card in your first turn and get your opponent to level or to five. You know, zero five, and then you have two more attacks left. Oh my you try, god! You, you try field this. They all hit a climax. You slam your two soul. There wow. They all Dude. stick. I this don't is like, like bullets that it from can't, JoJo. Fifteen can't, damage. I don't like that it can't select itself. That's yeah, pretty bad. Uh, so I'll give it. I'll give it just a middle of the road C. I like the yeah, middle. So I don't. I, yeah. I don't like that it can't select itself. A thousand power would like otherwise be pretty relevant, but you know, doesn't work. Next. No. Drew. Yes. Uh, whatever. So, <laughs> when it's, when this is placed from the stage of the hand. She's one of your opponent's level one or lower characters. That character does not stand during your opponent's next stand phase. This is a 101 k. Dude, it doesn't have to stay on the. It doesn't have to stay on board to keep its effect. Though you you can just literally play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not con. Yeah. So this taps down something that's already tapped, and then it's a 101 k. Is this is this like not that bad or completely unplayable? It's one of the I two. I'm leaning it's not that toward, bad. I'm leaning heavily toward completely unplayable. Yeah, I think this is just like I think this is just like F F double minus. Like, yeah, I, I, this is really bad. Like I, I don't, don't know. I, I don't I, think I you remember can play this. facing ReZero decks that have that can do this effect and it being yeah, but it's a brainstorm. Yeah, that's, that's something. It's a brainstorm yeah. in that set, though. Yeah, the, the yeah, brainstorm but... can target anything, and this only hits a level one or lower character. Oh, oh, I okay. didn't see that. Oh. But you're also you're also blocking down a brainstormer for one. Yeah, turn. The thing, not at the cost of playing a 101 right, k in my deck. You have, you have to deck. play this card. You have to put this card in your deck. I guess. Why is this I, worth like forty five hundred power? I mean, like, if, if if that's how much this effect is worth, then bath time Amelia is broken. Oh, I guess it is a broken card, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it is broken, <laughs> but. I'll give it a D. I, I just don't think I don't think it's that bad. I mean, it's keeping plus. keeping your opponent from know, brainstorming dude. is nice. It's so nice. It is. Th that that's why. I'm... And then if they want to minus to if they want to minus that hard to play over it or search for another one to play over it, I'm cool with that. And we can see a new Drew deck forming before our very eyes. Wow. Yep. Yeah, it's true. This is a. You're gonna be so mad at me. <laughs> 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 All right. Next. He oh, sings the entire front row, then he plays this, and he can't <laughs> stand a yes. brainstormer. <laughs> yes. Uh, so this is a 103k um, act, pay one, send this to the waiting room, choose up to one character from your hand with equal or lower than your level and place it on the slot this card lives in. So you could play a level three for one? Yeah. It, it comes from hand, so I'd get all it changes in anything. Effects. Uh, oh yeah, that's a just a change. May, maybe okay. I mean, people play the uh, the Aqua that does that. I mean, this is basically turning a level three into your hand into a pay one ditch a card to play. Yeah, is that good enough? I I don't think so, but yeah, depends on the situation, Randy. I'll just I'll give it a C. Ah, it's D plus. I don't think it's actually yeah. good. I agree. I mean, it's, yeah. This is one of those cards that can occasionally maybe be good, but then you have to run this card in order for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to dedicate doing. slots to this. Like, yeah. sounds terrible. There will be spots where you wish that you had this card, but it doesn't mean I should run this card. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is you, Brian. Okay, this is card 17. Let me find the name. Oh my god, fuck you. This is Oof. Natsume and Harutora. Promise fulfilled. Uh, if there's a marker under this, it gets 3k. 
uh, when this is placed from hand to stage, you can choose a Natsume and Haruto, just about finished in your waiting room, put it under this, face up under this as a marker. Is that the same card? Yes. Okay. It? It's a 107k. Is... I mean, Joker, or I'm, P5 runs the same thing, and people hate it, so... There's different cards that that get big in. Yeah, they're different cards, so you you are removing cards from your next deck. This you'd have to run four of it. Um, you could That's only field cool. two of it. You couldn't field three of it. There's no card called just about finished in this set. Re. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's it's promise fulfilled. It, it is the same card. I'm pretty sure, but okay. I the don't translation know. is all like... is all wonky. Wow. Like just a, I'll just give it a C. It's marked compression, but you'd have to run four. Yeah, I mean, I think it's I think not it's, good market compression. It's okay. Yeah. It's like it's like the Joker that gets big against stuff, except it's always big. Yeah. All right. Next, um, this fucking demon girl with the she, she's a singer. Is that a grenade? I think that's grenade. It is a I grenade. Oh, even, oh, that's metal as fuck. I don't even remember this character. This character's <laughs> sick. <laughs> um. <laughs> All your characters gain the following ability when reversed in battle. Put this on the bottom of your library. Oh, that's garbage. Okay, F. <laughs> F plus for... Oh, plus only for art. No, it guarantees uh, that you don't cancel on your no, last dude, card. That your sucks. climaxes always go back. Dude, that sucks. I thought... When I was learning the game, I thought the Mocha was a playable card because it was a 106.5, and then it lost me multiple games in front of my eyes. <laughs> um, these profiles are garbage. Mm -hmm. But just right. imagine, yeah. pull, imagine pulling this out with the... Uh... Troublemaker brainstorm. I guess, and then <laughs> and then the rest of your cards, other than this, can go to the bottom of your deck. Well, just hit three with the brainstorm and pull out three of this. Yeah, just just be good. Go to the All bottom right. of the deck three times. Next card. Oh, an interesting card. Go ahead, Zay. Uh, three four event counter. Choose two of your opponent's characters. Neg him two souls. This goes to memory. What a good card. Seems pretty good. There's no condition. Just pay for. Yeah, seems, which seems good. Yeah, I like it. Seems... This is this is the thing. This seems is this like is a the, good card. This is the Fujimi card. Especially if there's a way to search this out that we find later, that'd be awesome. There is the the top. I check mean, you grab it we... from the top check for you. Yeah, you can... no, the 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 just the top check top card that we saw earlier also hits on events. Ah, uh, yeah, I was talking about the card you play when you slam standby. You can grab a level one or higher card. Yeah, I mean that. You That's know, awesome. You yeah. Off that too. So there are ways to get this. Yeah, this this is pretty gross uh, as an event counter. Oh, guys, you get this off the union too. <laughs> you do get this off the union, <laughs> and it ha you can play this in your mono zombie deck. It Heck keeps yeah. getting better. You better believe it. So good, believe it. Oof. But yeah, I mean, in all seriousness, um, this is like one of the big reasons the eight standby deck has legs because you don't really have a real finisher. From my understanding, you kind of stall out the game with this and your giant bodies. And like directed Neg Soul to two characters for minus two for four is pretty good. Um, since like you're saving stock with your standbys, theoretically. Uh, wow, I can't wait for another stall deck at our locals. Mm hmm. Mm, looking forward to it. What they always mean, fall apart. You can't wait. You're the only one who pre ordered the set. <laughs> Me and Billy. Oh, yeah, Billy too. Billy's just going to play DXD. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh,. I don't know. Did we did we miss anything about this card? That's it. Particularly, no. only really did an uh, AOT matchup, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Fuck. <laughs> it does target. That's the that's the big problem here oh. for English. Okay, I, I don't care then. Choose two of your opponent's characters, so you can only choose the one side lane where Armin isn't. Join me in the uh, the Armin hate fan club, you guys. Yeah, I in the I just fucking I fucking hate Armin so much. <laughs> it's fine. You can you can target the other back. Row. I want to bring bring like a picket sign to regionals. <laughs> bring it outside. It's like ban this card, and it's just Armin. Three <laughs> to Armin. Get rid of this card, please. Uh, not because it's even that bad. I'm just sick of seeing it. <laughs> like I just don't want to see it anymore. I mean, I didn't see any AOT in Toronto. Yeah, of course you did. You made top eight with Konosuba. I wonder why. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think this is like like we said, 
there's not much of a top end. You're just playing standby. You're saving stock that way. You probably have a lot of stock overhead. This is a pretty good way to capitalize on it and continue mm -hmm. to stall out the game. So, uh, An important card to remember going forward, especially as we get into red, uh, that this card exists. So. But yeah, I think that's it for yellow. Anything we want to touch on before we close this up? Is that awesome? No, she has that's a sword. Good. No, that's card Captain Chakra. Even oh, okay. I remember this character's name. That's Harana, dude. I mean, you're right. Okay, got there. Look at, the, look at those. Look at those bows. Jesus. Um. All right. Yeah. We'll see you guys in green.